Welcome to the fascinating world of mentalism. In this video, we'll explore the art of influencing thoughts, reading minds, and predicting the future. Mentalism is a performance art that combines psychology, misdirection, and suggestion to create the illusion of mind reading, telepathy, and other psychic abilities. Mentalists use a variety of techniques, including cold reading, language patterns, and subtle cues to guide participants towards predetermined outcomes. Mentalists are skilled observers of human behavior. They pay close attention to body language, facial expressions, and verbal cues to gather information about participants. They then use this information to subtly influence the participants' thoughts and actions. It is difficult to say definitively who practice mentalism first, as there are records of people performing mentalism-like feats for thousands of years. However, some of the earliest known mentalists include the Egyptian magicians and priests, the Greek philosopher Pythagoras, the Roman poet Virgil, and the Arab scholar Averroes. The first book on mentalism written in the 16th century was De Prestigius Demonum by Girolamo Scotto. It was published in 1533 and is a treatise on magic and sorcery. It is also one of the first books to explore the psychological techniques that mentalists use to perform their acts. Scotto's book was highly influential, and helped to lay the foundation for modern mentalism. Mentalism acts performed by Harry Houdini and Yuri Geller include thought transference, second sight, mind reading, and clairvoyance. Houdini would have a spectator think of an object or a number, and then correctly identify it. He would blindfold himself and accurately describe his surroundings or identify hidden objects. Houdini would also have a spectator write down a thought, and then correctly reveal it. Additionally, he would predict future events such as the outcome of horse races or the stock market. Mentalism acts performed by Yuri Geller include spoon bending, telepathy, psychokinesis, and prediction. Some people believe that Houdini and Geller were genuine psychic mediums, while others believe that they were simply skilled magicians and entertainers. Mentalism is not a fad or a science, but a performing art that combines elements of magic, psychology, and suggestion. The top five mentalists living today are Darren Brown, Max Maven, David Blaine, Paul McKenna, and Yuri Geller. Mentalism is popular because it challenges our understanding of reality and provides evidence of a hidden world. Mentalism tricks rely on psychology and misdirection, such as cold reading, language patterns, and subliminal cues. Mentalists are skilled performers who create the illusion of supernatural abilities. Mentalism is a popular form of entertainment, with suspenseful shows that feature mind-reading and prediction. Mentalism can also be used for personal development. By learning about the principles of psychology and misdirection, you can improve your communication skills and learn how to influence others. You can also use mentalism to better understand yourself and your own thoughts and behaviors. These tricks are easy to learn, and they can be performed anywhere, anytime, so let's get started. Trick 1. The nail through the bill. For this trick, you'll need a dollar bill and a special type of nail that has a hollow tip. To perform the trick, simply push the nail through the dollar bill. The nail will go through the hollow tip, and the dollar bill will remain intact. Trick 2. The mind reading force. For this trick, you'll need a spectator. To perform the trick, ask the spectator to think of a number. Then, place your hand on the spectator's arm and can feel the muscles in the spectator's arm tense up as they think of a number. The mentalist then uses this information to guess the number that the spectator is thinking of. Trick 3. The Name Revelation. For this trick, you'll need a spectator and a piece of paper. To perform the trick, give the spectator the piece of paper and ask them to write down the name of a friend or relative. The spectator then folds up the paper and places it inside of a sealed envelope. The mentalist then reveals the name of the spectator's friend or relative without ever opening the envelope. Trick 4. The Card Prediction. For this trick, you'll need a deck of cards and a spectator. To perform the trick, mark a specific card in the deck, then ask the spectator to choose a card. The mentalist then reveals that the spectator chose the marked card. Trick 5. The ESP Test. For this trick, you'll need a set of ESP cards and a spectator. To perform the trick, ask the spectator to guess the symbol that is on the back of each card. The mentalist then reveals the symbols on the back of the cards and shows that the spectator has guessed correctly several times. Mentalism is a fascinating art form that can be used to entertain and amaze audiences. 
However, it's important to remember that mentalists are skilled performers who are using a variety of deception techniques to create their illusions. Thanks for watching the channel, Life Thrills. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos about mentalism and other performing arts.